think. Oh, hi. Welcome to Cupid Incorporated. How can I help you? Hmm. Didn't have the best day yesterday, huh? I'm sorry about that. You know, so many people think of Valentine's Day as a day of, of love and happiness and hearts and flowers and candy and all that great stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, but that's not everyone's experience. Some people, all they feel on Valentine's Day is disappointment and loneliness. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I can't go back in time and give you a better day yesterday. But if you would like, I do have a very specific set of skills where I could take away some of your loneliness for you. What? No, 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 no. I'm not Cupid. <laughs> Gosh, no, I'm not Cupid. Cupid is, uh, he's in a different business. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, obviously this is his business, but he's in the business of spreading love and, and good feelings, stuff like that, that he thinks is wonderful and perfect and never, ever goes wrong. Yeah. Personally, I think we should rename him from the god of love to the god of chaos. <laughs> But you didn't hear that from me. Actually, it's okay if you heard it from me, because nice to meet you. I'm uh, I'm Clarabelle. I'm Cupid's little sister, and we don't see eye to eye on everything. <laughs> but if you would like, I can um try to help you out a little bit. I can't um bestow upon you the feelings of love or anything like that, but I can try to take away the loneliness. And oftentimes, all you need to start feeling those positive things is to get rid of some of the negative things that are holding you back. Yeah, sure. Okay, here, let me put this down. Alright. I'm going to start out with this. It's just a simple spray bottle. But inside is water that has been blessed by the spring of arrows. So it will just kind of help me get a feel for your energy a little bit better, okay? And then I'll be able to get rid of the loneliness. Alright, so just close your eyes if you want. I'm just going to take this and just spray. There we go. That's over here. There. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a little better. You can kind of see what we're working with now. That's good. All right. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to start with just doing a little bit of a cleansing, okay? This is going to help get rid of some of that surface loneliness, and then I can get in and really get out that, uh, the deeper, the deeper set stuff, okay? Okay. All right. This is sage, which you might recognize. It's used very commonly for cleansing rituals purifying, and for banishing negative energies and things. So I'm just going to use this. Just kind of brush it around you a little bit. And just sort of watch that smoke as it works to get rid of some of this loneliness, feelings of inadequacy, or disappointment, maybe disappointment with yourself, maybe disappointment with others, maybe just disappointment with the way things are in general. <laughs> this world can be pretty messed up sometimes. It's okay to not feel wonderful and happy about it all the time, but we don't want those feelings to hinder us from still being able to experience things like love and peace 
when we can. So I'm just gonna some of that surface tension, sort of. Good. Good. Now I'm going to put this over to the side, but it will keep burning and smoking for a while, and that will just help any of the loneliness that I'm taking out if it happens to get loose. This will help to neutralize it so it doesn't cling back to you. Alright, now I'm going to start just plucking away, grabbing away any of that loneliness that is hindering you, that's clinging to you, especially from yesterday. I mean, because it was Valentine's Day doesn't mean that's the only day you can feel lonely. <laughs> it's something that can kind of permeate every every day if it's strong enough. So I'm just gonna take that away, okay? You don't have to do anything or feel like you have to like hold a certain expression or anything. If you'd like, you can take some deep breaths, okay? I'm gonna use these just to kind of scratch it away. There we go. Good, good. good. This kind of works too. You know what one of the best cures for loneliness is? It's not a romantic partner or romantic love or anything like that. Although a lot of people might think that it is. The best cure for loneliness is learning the difference between being lonely and being alone. Just because you're alone doesn't mean that you have to be lonely. Learning to be happy and content in your own company is a very powerful thing. Learning not just to love yourself, but to be okay spending time with yourself. Spending time alone. Nurturing yourself or bettering yourself. However, you need to spend it. It goes deeper than just, ooh, self-care, I'm gonna take a nice bath in rose water or something. <laughs> but being okay in your own company is a very healthy thing to do. And that will nurture feelings of self. Also, the secret to having a healthy romantic relationship. It's at least, it's a big part of the equation. 
it's not the only secret, but it's a big part of it. If you live your life fully in a state of loneliness, of longing for someone to fill that hole inside of you, and then you get into a relationship and you put all of that pressure on that other person, odds are, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but at some point they're going to let you down. Not entirely, not all the time, but humans make mistakes. Humans are not perfect beings. Humans need things, you know, communicated clearly, and there needs to be clear expectations. One person in your life blink, blink, is not going to fix all of your problems. <laughs> and they shouldn't. And there shouldn't be the expectation, the, the pressure on them to do that. An amazing first step to finding someone that you can really love and who will really love you is to learn to appreciate yourself. To learn to not always feel lonely when you're alone. Being alone can be a very powerful gift. It's good, it's good, it's good. Just something to think about as I go sit down. It's not to say that having someone that does mean something to you is bad. <laughs> Not at all. It's a wonderful thing when you find someone whom you love and who loves you, who accepts you, who doesn't try to change you, who does make your life feel better. That's a good thing. <laughs> Not saying that any of that is bad. But if your idea of a perfect relationship is someone who fills all of those little gaps inside of you perfectly and doesn't, uh, doesn't ever let you down, that's just not realistic. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Obviously, relationships are give and take. They are moments that feel like heaven, and sometimes moments that don't. That's just part of the process of two imperfect people coming together. You know what I mean? Learning to be happy alone can be a very healthy thing. Of course, you can take that too far. You don't want to just completely isolate yourself from anyone. Even if you don't have a romantic love, it's still a good idea to have friends or family. Someone that you care about that cares about you. You humans are creatures of nature, and nature doesn't exist in isolation. If you go and you look at a tree in the forest, the tree might be, you know, the biggest, the most important thing that stands out in your mind, but if you look closer, it's not just a tree there, is there? There's the tree, but there's also the soil that the tree is in, soil is teeming with life. And there's also life on the tree. Different moss or lichen, perhaps ivy that grows up the tree. Little ants or other little bugs that live on the tree and then help to take care of the tree. There might be birds or squirrels that have made nests in the tree. There's the grass growing around the tree's roots. A tree doesn't just exist on its own. It exists in an ecosystem. And we are not meant to 
live in a bubble either. So obviously I don't want to take it too far and just always be alone. But being able to be alone and be content. It's a very healthy thing. That's all I'm saying. Just go, 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 Definitely getting rid of a lot of this for you. That's good. I hope that this will help you feel less lonely. Less like you are not whole on your own. That's really what loneliness is, is feeling not just that you're alone, but that you are not capable of being whole when you're alone. That you are your own person. You are perfectly whole, just as you're supposed to be, whether you're in a relationship with someone or whether you're alone. Learning to accept and enjoy spending time with yourself. It's a healthy thing. Alright, just a little bit more of this. This is good. Just go, 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 Definitely better. Are you feeling any better? Good. Let's just do a little more, okay? Just go, 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 just go,
gotten rid of quite a lot of that loneliness. It's looking much better, at least. Good. I'm glad that it's feeling better. Alright. Take these off. Now, if you wouldn't mind, if you would like, we could actually work to bestow some feelings of a gentle love to you. I don't have the same kind of powers as my brother. I can't, like, make you ooze with romantic love or affection for somebody or anything like that. Personally, I think that's a little icky. But I do have a tool here that I could use that just kind of helps align with your heart and hopefully heal your heart a little bit and open you up to receiving love when next you find it. Okay, yeah. This, have you seen one of these before? Yeah, it's a singing bowl. And this one, you can see it has a symbol on the bottom here. This is associated with the heart chakra. So the note that it plays will resonate at a certain vibration that is supposed to help to heal and realign your heart chakra. So when your heart chakra is out of line, usually that means that it is feeling hurt. Perhaps you've been hurt by somebody in the past or recently. Maybe you find it hard to trust people. Maybe you find it hard to trust and love yourself. Any of those things can be a result of your heart chakra not being open and, and flowing freely. But when your heart chakra is aligned and healthy, then you receive and bestow love in, in healthy ways. And you're able to forgive and heal and move on when someone wrongs you. So, if you would like, I can play this singing bowl for a little while. See if that helps at all. Okay. Now for this, I want you to just... You can close your eyes if you would like, or just kind of not think about what you're seeing, per se. Just listen. And you don't have to think too hard about what you're listening to. Just let this note, let the sound kind of just wash over you. If you'd like, you can take some deep breaths with it. Or just breathe at a pace that is comfortable to you, okay? I hope that that helped to just maybe speak to your heart a little bit. You know, there's, there's actually quite a lot of science behind sound therapy 
vibration therapy and things like that. It's, it's very, very interesting. Or at least was nice to listen to. Now, if you would like, as I said, I'm not nearly as powerful as my brother, but I could just kind of give you a little bit of energy just to fill up some of those gaps where we took the loneliness away and just feel you with a nice, warm, comforting, positive energy. Okay. That's how we'll end today. Now for this part, I do want you to do a little bit of breathing with me, if you would like, okay? So when I say I want you to take a nice deep breath in and feel positive energy coming into you and accept that positive and then as you breathe out deeply, I want you to think about pushing away any other negativity that might be holding you back, okay? So, breathe in. I'm not under any sort of illusion that one little interaction with me is going to miraculously solve all of your problems, make you never feel lonely again, and always feel loved and accepted. But, hopefully it helps a little bit. It's what I'm here for. At least, what I try to be here for. So, I hope that you're feeling a little bit better. Good. I am sorry that your Valentine's Day didn't, uh, Maybe it didn't turn out how you wanted it to. Maybe next year it'll be different. But you also don't have to wait a year to try to get the powers of love to work for you. A great first step is learning the difference between being lonely and being alone. So, I hope that that helps a little bit. And hopefully... I won't see you here in customer service again with an issue, <laughs> but if you do ever need more loneliness removed or you need a little bit of positive energy, a little bit of healing, you come back anytime, okay? Alright. Well, until then. <laughs>